What's good? It's your boy. It's the one in the trillion. Your favorite artist, favorite artist, Joe Manny. We here to answer some questions for sounds for the future, man. I love you, 508. You feel me? Joe Manny. I'm an artist, producer, exec producer. Uh, I'm just a multifaceted creative, do anything you can think of. Um, I was born in Worcester, but Boston made me, you feel me? Boston's where my life was changed and shit. Yeah, you feel me? I just do a little bit of everything. You need me to model, I'll model for you. You need me to direct, I'll direct for you. If you need me to create some clothes, I'll, you feel me? I'll do a little bit of all. Oh, really one in a trillion. So, Worcester, no boat. Like, me growing up and, like, growing up most of my life in Worcester, they didn't really affect my music really at all because like what's the doesn't really have people that have really made it other than jordan lucas really so it's like there's not really a lot to look up to i guess other than jordan shout out shout out jordan you feel me shout out bro but like there isn't really a lot of like different i mean there's different like where i grew up i guess and what's it is like i was like what's it like a melting pot kind of like it's like it's the same thing as Boston. so it's like just mad different things around me so i'm getting hip to my Spanish niggas playing music, my Caribbeans, my Africans, my whatever, you feel me? So it was like that, but there wasn't any, like, direct, I guess, influences. I was more grew up online than anything. Like, but once I came to Boston, though, Boston, a lot of Boston has influenced me from, like, the, 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 the how do I describe, like, the boom bappy ass beats, the fucking, just mad different vibes here. And I could talk, like, I don't know, I'd be, I'd be, Getting inspired from other people out here. Compared to what's I don't really be getting inspired from, uh, from no one. What makes me one in a trillion is that I'm me off rip. And on top of that too, I'm not trying to blow up. I'm trying to build an empire. Not I'm trying to. I'm finna build an empire. My goal is to change the situations of other people. Through me directly or just my, me being alive. Me peeing, me People praying the vibe. People seeing, yo, this nigga really did it from where I'm from. I can do the same shit. So it's like... I ain't even trying to blow up because that shit's already blowing up, quote unquote. That shit's already guaranteed. I already look past that because it's already it's already happened in the future. So there's no reason like me to worry about that. It's more I'm trying to I'm trying to change everyone's situation. I'm trying to create an infrastructure that's not here. I'm trying to show people you are all one in a trillion. You just gotta go for that shit. You feel me? I feel like posting consistent content is not hard. It's just that most people are lazy. Especially out here, just because a lot of people don't under, they're not a lot like people are finally conforming because they're seeing they're seeing what it can do for you. But like, I feel like it's not really that hard. Like people spend a lot of their times doing a lot of bullshit day to day. People just like to make excuses. People will go out to the club till three a.m. when you could have went filming content. You could have like there's people have time, but people don't want to allocate it because they really don't want the goal. Um, and I feel like it doesn't really take away from the music. It just depends on the type of content you do. Like, you just don't want to get in a situation where you look as a content artist and people aren't really jacking you because of the music. It's more like people jacking because of the content. That's the only, like, caveat that can happen with content, but that's based on the type of content you do. You do content that's not really highlighting music. Why you expect people to be jacking the music? You feel me? Unless you, like, you're just, you're just like that. So, like, a show many shows, you feel me? I'm just there. I'm singing. I'm singing to the baddies. You feel me? I'm singing to the women in the crowd. You feel me? I want all these, all the gal them to feel like, yes, I'm Trill Manny's gal. You feel me? So I'm singing to them. I'm vibing. Like, we having a good time. Like, my nick, the niggas is there too. So you feel me? I sing for my brodies too. So some of my brodies can sing to their shoulders if they brought them. Um, And I feel like it's important to connect. Like, the biggest thing in this. Any any avenue or anything you do is create is community. If you can't cultivate community, you can't sustain what you're doing. So it's like through shows and shit, it's really cultivating the community. It's showing people you live. It's showing your energy because energy is infectious. It's showing people, damn nigga, I want to support what this person's doing. They're so passionate about what they're doing because like the in person feel is like something that a lot of people don't talk about, but that's something that's like very. I don't even know important type of shit. Alive, uh, Capella Gray. Even though we have a song together, once once the world hears that, Capella Gray, Friday, Chris Brown, Dad, Michael Jackson. 
um, PNB Rock, um, Prince, consistency and not giving a fuck, and yeah, consistency and not giving a fuck. That's literally be if you do those, you you'll win. No matter what you do in life, if you just consistently don't give a fuck and just do what you do. I mean, industry plant, bro, reality, bro. Like, I don't know. They'll say anyone's an industry plant. But, like, in reality, if you really think about it, bro, a lot of these times, bro, the goal of these record labels is to break artists. So, I mean, I don't know what you expected. But some niggas, I, I would say, are industry plants, though. Like, they're just straight bot, bum ass niggas that these niggas literally mold their whole character on some weird shit. But, like, I don't really, I don't know. I don't think industry plan is that, like, nowadays, if you're an industry plan, like, before, that shit don't fly. Like, you got to be, like, an actual person. Like, like, the days of them just molding someone, just making them artists is that, like, now it's more like, you already got to be, you, you're, like, you're you're an actual artist type shit. You're not, like, a whole fake persona that you had to, like, play with. You feel me? That's what I would say with industry plans. So, 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 hip hop, it's, I feel like hip hop's still lit. I feel like the problem is that people aren't really caring about, like, the art itself, no bullshit. People aren't really putting effort into it, which, like, makes some shit that's cool because it's just different because it's low effort and it sounds, like, different. But, like, I feel like that's really the problem. People aren't really putting no effort into it. People aren't trying to, like, be themselves. Everyone's just trying to, like, literally copy, paste what someone else is doing, which is cool, I guess, at the beginning, but people aren't cultivating that and, like, developing the sound into something that's more personalized. I feel like that's what's really... That's the only real problem with, like, I'll say with hip-hop right now. And, it's like, yeah, it's just cre- people lacking creativity, people lacking, like, trying new shit, people just being themselves. People just want to, like, copy, dick ride other people. You feel me? It's like it's all good to like steal like an artist. You feel me? You're supposed to steal like an artist. You feel me? But like, if you're just like stealing, you're not adding your own sauce. It's like I'd rather go listen to the real person instead of you being the great value person. You feel me? That's the only problem I'll really say. Other than that, I feel like hip hop is pretty wavy right now. Like I feel like this is like the best gen. This is probably like one of the best and the worst generations to be like. In the hip-hop space, just because it's the easiest it's ever been to, like, blow up, quote-unquote, or get get in front of the eyes of the masses compared to before. It's like, you gotta have to... Niggas, niggas gotta find you before. But now it's like, all you gotta do is post a video, nigga. Your life will change, they shit. Nah, I mean, for me, all I know is uh, my character is solid, and I'm gonna hold my character throughout whatever. I, I'm gonna move with move with love like I always do because love's the strongest thing on this earth. So I'm going to just move with love and move with my morals and stay morally correct. I, like, for me, whatever going on the other side, I don't really give a fuck. I do give a fuck. Save whoever is getting mistreated, whatever. But, like, it's not like... I'm not finna be a part of that. That's all I know. Whatever weird stuff may be going on, I'm not I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on just spreading love. And, like, if I get in situations like that, I'm just dubbing that. I'm just dubbing that. Moving, spread it, bro. Dub. Well, move to the side, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm heavy on I'm heavy on synchronicities. I me- I be meditating daily. I'm heavy on the law of attraction. Like I be studying all the Neville Goddard. Um, what's her name? What's the shorty name? I was just watching mad shit about her. The like, there's I be studying. All, I'm into heavily. I'm like a mad spiritual, lyrical ass nigga. Like that's why I'm I'm vegetarian, vegan, and shit like that. Cause like, nigga, health is wealth, and Everything, everything is just like, everything comes from the mind, bro. Like, we are all co-creators in our reality. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand concepts like that until they get very, like, older, around, like, 28. If you don't get at 28, they get at, like, 38. But, like, you feel me? Most people just don't don't really get into that side of life until way later in life because they know this, damn, I could have really, I could have really went to the league if my mind was correct. I could have really... I could have really became that next model if my mind was right. You feel me? But most people aren't really on that shit, and they think shit just happens. But if shit just happens, nigga, then that means a lot of people are just flukes. But that's not the case. Right now, you feel me? I just got some singles coming out. Um, 
more music videos. Now niggas will catch me acting something. Can't really speak on it. But I'll be acting on some crazy shit so um modeling. More just anyone watching for me. Any any one of the trillionaires watching for me. I love y'all. Um I'm just I'm just on my I'm just working on getting closer to me right now. Just really honing in on me and really creating what I, I feel like I want to create without any limitations from the outside world. That's really it. Well, I don't really got nothing for y'all. Except for new singles. Like I don't know, I don't know when the next song comes out, bro. I'm gonna let y'all know. Probably next like week or two. Some shit. Some trillion dollar advice. I would say first off, if you are a person right now, you don't know what the fuck you wanna do, make a list. 10 things you like. Out of these 10 things you like, pick five that you can see you doing for the rest of your life. Out of that five, pick three that you can really, really see yourself. That's on your bucket list. Like always intrigue you from start to now. From there, study the fuck out of those three things and focus on those three things for the next six months of your life and do actual deliberate practice in that. And if you do that shit every day, you will change your life. Facts. I love you, 508.